Today I'm going to show you a really cool way to use a watermelon. Start by chopping the top off with a knife, a bit like you would with a Halloween pumpkin. We're going to remove the lid and hollow it out. You could just use a spoon, but I'm going to start by using this pineapple spiralising tool. It screws down into the melon like this and allows me to pull out a nice big plug. And what is handy about this kitchen gadget is that I can remove the handle and slide over this cutting tool to slice the melon into these lovely bite-sized pieces. It does leave a core in the middle of the fruit, which you can snap off and slice with a knife. I cleaned out the rest of the fruit with a large spoon and filled up this blender. When it was full, I gave it a good blend, then left it to sit for a while. With the melon now being an empty shell, I'm going to fit this tap to it so I can use it as a drinks dispenser. I found a drill bit just bigger than the thread size, and I drilled a hole about a quarter of the way up the melon. This will help the tap to sit at a good angle and any sediment in the melon will sink to the bottom rather than blocking up the tap. Next, take the tap and a washer and push it through the hole. Then I fitted a seal and another washer inside and clamped it firmly in place with a nut. And that's our tap fitted. And we've got this really cool watermelon keg. Before filling it up with drink, I took a tea towel and used it to make a stand for the melon to sit on. Then it's ready to start filling. I placed a sieve on top and poured in the watermelon juice from the blender. The sieve helped to strain out any bits, so we shouldn't block the tap. Because there's still a lot of room inside, I'm using different fruit juices to make my own non-alcoholic punch. Of course, you can fill yours with whatever you like. I sliced up some lemon and orange to add in and I'm keeping it cool with ice cubes. Put the lid back on and it's ready to go. It makes an ideal centrepiece for a party. Line up some glasses by the side and people can help themselves. Pretty cool, huh? It looks brilliant and it works really well. Cheers! You can place the bite-sized melon pieces next to it and some cocktail sticks. Perfect for snacking on. It's a nice easy way to have watermelon and it really does taste great. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.